Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. Now guess where we are today? Yes, we're flying around uh, the city of San Diego. Here's downtown San Diego and the airport of San Diego is actually very close to downtown. It's over here already. Actually, San Diego is known for its very interesting approach into the airport. But today, let's not talk about San Diego's airport. Well... Maybe kind of, but not, you know, actual airport. I'm talking uh, maritime airport today. Yeah, as you can see, we have a few ships down here in the harbor of San Diego. And uh, as you can tell by their color, they're all military ships. You know, we have several frigate ships that are implemented into the scenery, but we also have aircraft carriers here in the flight simulator. And, um... That's what we're doing today. Yeah, a few people actually suggested that I go here in San Diego because this is one of the only places that you can find aircraft carriers at here in the flight simulator. And um, I'm definitely up for it. So let's start off with a plane that should be able to land on this not moving aircraft carrier. Yep, the aircraft carrier that we're about to land on, which is down here, is obviously parked. It's not moving, which is going to make the whole situation a lot worse, especially for the bigger planes because of uh, physics. There we go. This is looking uh, quite nice, isn't it? All right, let's get rid of some speed. All right, there we go. Oh, I mean, we uh, we stopped, so that was quite successful, wasn't it? Actually, the landing was not too bad, but I pulled a little hard on the brakes and the plane flipped over, but that's another story. Now, this aircraft carrier, as you might be able to tell, looks a little bit weird, especially the details here of the, I think that's called the bridge, is a little glitched out. And that is actually for a reason, and it is because how this aircraft carrier is actually implemented into the flight simulator, well, it's not actually counted as an actual aircraft carrier, but it's actually just in the satellite scenery of Bing Maps. You know, it scans 3D objects, and, you know, apparently it did scan this aircraft carrier that was parked here at the time of uh, the capture of the satellite scenery, and we crashed into the water. And that's actually the reason why we have all these ships here. And lucky enough, they count as built. Oh my god. Lucky enough, yeah, they count as uh, solid objects that you can crash into or f land onto, which is what we're doing today. And this really didn't work out at all. So this was the little explanation. That is also, of course, why the aircraft carriers are not moving. They're totally solid objects. So let's go ahead and um, try another type of plane. Maybe not a tail dragger. How about a little Cessna 172 like we got right in front of us? That'll definitely reduce our chances of actually flipping over again. So, you know, let's give it a shot here. All right, we'll come back to downtown at San Diego. All right, our little aircraft carrier is ahead. Let's go ahead and land on it. All right, we're coming in nicely. And that was a very quick landing, but also a very quick stop. There we go. This was pretty successful. The landing gear of this airplane has kind of... Well, it's in, inside of the aircraft carrier deck now, but it does still work. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, I want to see if we can take off out of here again and... Oh my goodness. Yeah, we can say that Microsoft Flight Simulator does come with its little flaws here and, and little bug. But let's hope that they will be fixed soon enough. Uh, actually, we have got some more aircraft carriers here in the harbor. Let's try out this one. Maybe this one isn't as glitched. It does seem a little bigger as well. So that's good for the bigger planes that we're going to use later on. So that'll be good for the bigger planes that we're going to use later on. But let's go ahead and get this Cessna landed. There we go. Quick and easy stop, no worries at all. Uh, so maybe use the whole carrier and try doing a takeoff as well here with the Cessna. That's all right, let's do a 180 turn and try doing a takeoff. We just say the engine is running at full power and it doesn't seem like the aircraft is moving. We're officially stuck to the aircraft carrier. What happens if you actually run off? Well, okay, that was quite underwhelming. Okay, let's let me try somewhat of a turboprop plane like this TBM 930. I think that'll do just fine. All right, TBM 930. This is a little bit of a faster plane, but this one at least has a reverse thrust, which gives it quite a nice stopping performance. So let's just see what it can do for us. We're coming to hot and ready. Let's go and put the landing gear down. All right, come on. All right, that was a landing. Let's not hit the building there. There we go. All right, that was a nice landing and a very quick landing as well in the TBM 930. So far, I've been uh, 
pleasantly surprised with how the planes actually stop here. I mean, probably this uh, surface here is very sticky here in the flight simulator, which is why all the planes are also stuck to the ground. I mean, we're running the engine at full power and they're still not properly moving all the planes here. So that might be a reason for all the good stopping we've had so far. All right, let's try a bigger plane then, maybe a jet. How about something like the CJ-4 from Cessna? Yeah, the Citation jet. Let's see how that one will do here. Let's do this as well as possible. Oh, that was definitely a dolphin dance here on touchdown. Let's try this one again. Oh, wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, we've fallen off the aircraft carrier, but this was a sort of successful landing though, wasn't it? I've definitely seen worse, so let's move on to a bigger plane. How about something like an A320? You may wonder, well, how is that going to work out? The A320 doesn't even properly fit on the aircraft carrier deck, but I guess we're about to find out. All right, Airbus A320 Neo, let's go ahead. Now, I don't quite know what the actual length of the aircraft carrier that we have right in front of us is, but I guess it's even below 400 meters or something, which is shorter than uh, actually the shortest commercial runway that there is at 400 meters, and that is Sabah Airport. So, hmm, this could get close, but let's Let's just see what we can do. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is, uh... <clears throat> pretty dumb, huh? I mean, we had a slight overrun here, but overall, the landing is a landing, isn't it? Alright, now what can we say about the aircraft carriers here in the Flight Simulator 2020? Are they usable? No, they're not, of course. <laughs> I mean, they're after all just like a satellite objects that have been scanned and just put into the world. They're not actual aircraft carriers and you definitely see that. You know, especially in the details, it doesn't quite work. You know, the deck of the aircraft carrier is not even like even or anything. <laughs> So that's definitely unusable, but you know, we may see a few add-ons for aircraft carriers here in the sim sometime soon, or at least I hope so. I mean, in general, the military aviation stuff is totally lacking here in the flight simulator. So that is something that has to be added in the future, right? Okay, let's do one last landing here, the King Air. Let's see how well we can do this. All right, actually, that was quite a nice landing here in the King Air. Uh, so that was good. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.